Hello favorite you welcome back to another video so today's vlog i'm going to be taking you um as i do my mid-month grocery um so i just have to go to the shop and then try to replenish some of the things that we have run out of and this includes grocery our uh, skincare product and of course also cleaning products so today's vlog i'll just be showing you um, the things I shop, um, how I clean and organize the fridge, how I do a little bit of touches, touches here and there just to give, you know, just to revive the mood of the house. So the first shop I went to is called Crudvert and this is a shop where I mostly buy our skincare product from our cleaning, um, from our shower product right up to shaving and all of that. I always get them from Crudvert if I'm not ordering them online and then the next shop that i went to is one of my favorite shops in belgium it's called action action is a shop where i buy most of my decorative pieces from they are really affordable and the quality is also okay and also is a shop where i buy most of my cleaning products from like um bad product kitchen cleaning product back cleaning products so today i had to pick up cleaning products and some candles because i'm running out i was running out of candles so i had to replenish i came there were some new candles but i didn't really like the fragrance of most of them so i ended up leaving with just one candle um the cinnamon flavor you know action has some um some branded cleaning product that i really love that i've been using for almost three years now um they have a branded one called kitchen for bathroom and also their all-purpose cleaner is very good gentle and effective um, i really do not like to use harsh cleaning products and i find the ones from action to be very very gentle and effective the only place where i use a little bit of harsh um cleaning products like that has javel in it it's in the bathroom and that is mostly um in the toilet port so yeah so in action i just needed to pick cleaning products um candle and also um disposable plate <laughs> I'll tell you the story of why I'm buying disposable plate and of course I love decor I wanted to tweak a little bit the house sometimes just changing maybe just the table cover or the table the flowers in the house can just revive the mood of the house you know so I had to pick up some flowers but dry flowers I don't like um, artificial plastic flowers so while I was done from action I just crossed over to Albertine Albertine I think is a shop from the Netherlands if you're watching from the Netherlands comment below if you do shop from Albertine I really love Albertine they have some amazing prices also from their own branded products so yeah um, I didn't have much grocery to do because I was just filling in like you know when you've done the major grocery at the beginning of the month or at the end of the previous month and some things just run out so that's what i was doing and when i'm going to shop i always go with my list guys because it keeps you in line so you don't overspend you know so it, it helps to manage your budget and i do write my list on my samsung note or sometimes i just type it as a chat to my husband as i buy i just delete from my list so that i have a lot of clarity and yeah and also in abitine i love to pick my favorite spices or ingredients that are not afro inspired because you know when it comes to african flavors i own a business called the afro flavors where i sell african ingredients you know any em, almost everything you can think of we have it so comment below if you eat well <laughs> so yeah um and of course i also had to buy water um we still had some water from the last grocery but um we needed a few packs of um, um sparkling water so that's what i was trying to get right there guys it's time to go to to the casa oh to the pay decks i see casa okay guys so with the new um covid rule in belgium you we are not obliged to wear our mask in 
in the shops anymore or in the street anymore and so while i was having my marks and everyone was looking at me as if i'm not okay it's because um my husband tested positive for covid and so we've been on quarantine i think this was a fifth day so we've been on quarantine even though i wasn't positive but i just needed to wear the marks to protect other people from from me you know so and i'm just so grateful to god you know like corona is in a stage right now where it's not um it's not like it was before that when you get the virus it's it's kind of life threatening and, and all of that anyway that's a whole story of another day how we could manage the quarantine at home with kids for one week so that's a complete vlog that's going to be coming up and this friday was part of that week's vlog it was really challenging for us but i'll share all of that in another vlog so while i got home i quickly made one of the things that i got from the shop so I could eat and then i sat down to rest i played a little bit with the kids i think today was good friday yeah it was good friday and this is just minced chicken wrapped in bacon um so i just added some pepper on that and then sat down relaxed a bit listening to um some music playing for good friday service i think i was watching elevation worship um so yeah so after i rested i played a little bit with the kids and yeah so i'm just gonna quickly run through everything that i bought i will start with um the things i got from the grocery shop um albertine um i like to buy my ingredients or my green leaves i don't know how to call this um fresh so i don't like to buy them frozen or I just love to buy them fresh because it gives me that extra flavor in my meal and then it also adds some form of greenery in my kitchen if you don't know i really love nature a lot so i bought a little bit of pasta i got some eggs i got a lot of eggs because the kids were to bake the next day that was saturday um i got some fries those were chopped potatoes and these were the, the things that were on sale these are just grind meat that have been wrapped in different forms spiced differently my kids love to eat those with um potato fries or french fries um here yeah. and then i also got some carrots some cucumber um again because we really love to eat cucumber at home and my kids also take it to school as their snack the cucumber and the carrot i got some big pack of mince meat because um i'll use it to make pasta sauce for the kids I got just one pack of milk because we still had some this was just to top up um i also got one pack of this chopped vegetable because it makes life very easy sometimes when you don't have the time to start chopping vegetable i just like to have this in the freezer and i just had to buy one to top up um i also got fresh broccoli no frozen broccoli i stopped buying fresh broccoli because sometimes in one week in two weeks in one week it gets bad um, before we go we call before we can use it so now i buy frozen one and just throw it in the freezer i also got a lot of butter again because um my husband wanted to bathe with the kid on saturday with the kids on saturday or sunday so i got them butter i got yogurts for the kid i also got green yogurts for me i got just two packs of cookie for the kids because um they don't really eat cookie like that you know for snack they like i like them to snack on fruit and i got peanut butter for their fill in um, they love peanut butter nathan loves chocolate but we encourage him to eat a lot of peanut butter rather than chocolate but they eat chocolate once in a while so chocolate is like luxury to them and of course bread will never miss in any belgian grocery belgians can eat bread you know so um i got my i got bread i got my favorite ingredients from albertine um albertine it's a netherlands shop let me know in the comment section if you shop from albertine i got some canned beans i got some canned tomatoes i got some fresh tomatoes why i got the canned chopped tomatoes is that it makes life a little bit easy sometimes when you want to just go to the kitchen and cook fast you don't have the time to chop tomatoes chop ingredients you just have all those things that have been chopped for me it makes life easy i also have some canned beans again for quick cooking in the kitchen um yeah so i got a bottle of wine for babe so he could drink it on sunday or saturday just to cool his mind from his uh covid <laughs> so we're done with the grocery area now over to what i got in crude bad crude bad is a shop where i buy skincare and you can see there that i bought two of my night shower product i already showed a, made a video about my 
my hygiene routine it was on sale so i bought two i also bought two toothpaste for the kids i bought the new toothbrush i bought wipes because nathan ryan is always having runny nose and it's easier to clean with web wipes i bought candle i bought freezer bags and then over to action action is a show where i say i buy decor cleaning products and candles from so those are the cleaning products i got for the bathroom for the kitchen and also all purpose i always buy two to double 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 so when one finishes it gives me time to replenish before the second one will finish you know so and then this disposable plate i got them because i was tired of washing plate we have breakfast i wash plate lunch i wash plate dinner i wash plate like wasting water wasting energy wasting time so i just got that plate that when our meal is not that wet we can always use the disposable plate and so far it's working and because i was in action i bought some few decorative stuff just to change the mood of the house a little bit i don't like artificial flower plastic flower i just love either dry flowers or fresh flowers and the flower i just showed you it's a collection of my dry flowers so i'm blessed to have a husband that gives me flowers almost every time so i always just keep them when it dries up i make a beautiful bouquet or a centerpiece so i got all of these things from action i also got the toilet freshener from action i got those decorative ball which i'm going to be showing you how to i used it just to revamp the house a little bit i got some straws and then i saw these sheet marks which i want to try i also got some hyaluronic acid from um crudevat i just want to try it if it's nice i'll continue if it's not nice i'm gonna stop so um what i got from the cleaning shop action cost me 62 euros what i got from crudevat for our skincare product cost me 30 euros what I got from the grocery shop at the time cost me 170 euros. And mind you, these were just things that I was topping up. It's not our main grocery because I did this on Friday. So in a month for grocery, we can spend approximately this amount on grocery times three or times two and a half for Oibo grocery, excluding our African grocery, which is a little bit more expensive and also excluding our skincare and cleaning product and busy mix around the house so yeah let me know in the comment section if you think um, my topping up was a little bit expensive or it was very cheap as compared to where you are so let me know where you're watching and how this would look like for you is it too expensive or is it too cheap so when i take out all the fridge compartment i go ahead with the kitchen detail that i got from action i just spray them and let them sit for a while and this is kind of like um taking out any fridge bacterial any stuff that's there i do the same with the fridge i spray also the fridge and then i use the the kitchen cleaner also um to clean the fridge and i get a bowl um with water in that water i add also a little bit of vinegar i forgot to mention i also got vinegar because i use it a lot in the kitchen um I add a little bit of vinegar just to um take away that smell from the detol um disinfectant um liquid that i sprayed so if you have this folding kind of fridge that has this part of the door like this here yeah, please do well to always clean it this part of the fridge always keeps a lot of dirt like always keeps a lot of dirt and where you handle it and, and all of that so i go ahead and clean everything nice let it um sit while it's drying or getting dry i just go in and have my shower and then come back and put everything in their place so we come to all right so i just had my shower while i was having my shower i was following the good friday service on elevation worship and now i'm just going to dry all the compartments of the fridge put them in the fridge and pack up everything and ever i do after my shower and my skincare i'm always just feeling <sighs> it's so relaxing unfortunately i have work to do because normally after my shower my night shower has the is intentional to relax me after a crazy day but unfortunately i have like 30 minutes more work to do and i'm just going to relax while i continue to work i'm going to continue listening to um elevation worship um good friday service and then once i'm done i'm just going to sit down relax with a cup of tea that is my schedule.
So when I was done arranging everything, I just decided to dress the table with the new um, centerpiece that I bought. And this beautiful um, flower vase is just made from series of dried flowers from the different bouquets that my husband had offered me. So I just built a big, beautiful flower vase. It's so pretty. And then the, the, the dry balls that I got from action i just played with it i used some dry plants for dry flowers from again my my dry my fresh flowers that i dried myself just played with a candle and then i made these three beautiful um centerpiece or um entryway piece so let me know in the comment section what you think about them and also tell me are you a fresh flower a plastic flower person or a dry flower person for me plastic flower is a no-no so i also got these boxes from action that i went ahead to to fit and this is how it looks